Stefani. It's called Used to Love You. Racked up over 10 million views on the video. Gwen Stefani, you've loved her since no doubt. Actress, singer, songwriter, fashion designer, and the best thing to happen to The Voice. I'm such a fangirl. Gwen Stefani, welcome to the show. Wow, you just totally made my whole life. I can't believe you said that. That's can, crazy. Can I tell you, I'm not only a huge fan of your music and um, and, and really the, the, the songwriting, the lyrics, you know, the kind of messaging, but I'm a huge fan of your fashion design, Lamb. I oh, love it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I have so much fun doing that. It's weird because I, I go in and out like all... I'll be really into designing, and that will be, like, my focus and, like, obsessive with it. And then I'll get really into music. And I feel like I'm in a real musical place right now, but I did a lot of designing. And it's, like, because things are delayed when you do it, so it's all coming out. But the, but I'm in the middle of music right now, so it's all at once, and it's kind of amazing. It strikes me, you know, as someone who's been a fan who's followed your career from the very beginning, that you really work in, like, creative hurricanes. You'll have these bits of creativity that just sprawl through everything you do. Does it feel that way to you on the inside? Yeah. Wow. That's so, you're so awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I, I do have creative hurricanes. I, I have like, I have like, you know, like kind of obsessive like moments. Like when I started writing this record, I hadn't been able to write for a really long time. Like I tried and, it, but you know, it's like, it was like, it was forced and it was like, okay, I, every time I would go, I would get anxious, and I would feel like I just, it was like the, you know, when the clock is just so slow, and yeah. I just got to get home. I just want to get home, and then it just turns into, like, this last, like, ever since I started writing this record, it's like, got to get there. Like, I can't wait to get there. Like, even today, I'm supposed to go in to write, and my little boy got sick this morning, so oh. it's like, no. delay, like, I'm delayed, and I'm like, kind of panicked and like oh my god but what if i don't get to write a song today like uh, 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 you know what i mean so yeah, I, yeah. I definitely am in that kind of a phase and to me that is like my favorite most crazy like rewarding thing is to be able to write and just to walk in and have nothing and then drive home with a song that represents wherever i'm at in my life is, is, and then share it with people is like I don't know. That's my favorite thing to do. So. That's wonderful. You know, I am nowhere near as awesome as my partner, Sherry. But <laughs> I, I have a question that I've been wanting to ask you for a long, long time. I had the pleasure of seeing you in concert with the Rolling Stones in oh, Atlanta yeah. at Turner Field a few years back. That was a, a long time ago. Yeah. In Atlanta. At, okay, the, at played, the Braves. I think we played like three or four shows with them. Then I did one song with them here in um, in L.A. too, so... It was amazing because it's a baseball field, and my tickets, you know, they were from the radio station, so they were horrible, and they're way, they're way out there, and I had a, a view of the stage, which is in, in a baseball park like Turner Field. It's enormous, and it's the Rolling Stones and all of that, and you, of course, as the front person, you've got to keep that entertainment and the show going. Was that fun? Just to be able to open for the Rolling Stones is like, it just, it doesn't seem real. I can remember being in like seventh grade and the Us Festival happening and like being out in Palm Springs and, and being able to kind of see it from a distance. And they were just so massive. And he actually was wearing the baseball uniform at that point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so just being able to open for him was so exciting. I just, all I can remember about it was like thinking, this is the biggest stage I've ever been on and I can't breathe and every time I try to sing I'm just trying to gasp for air and how is he doing it like he goes out there and does that whole thing and like you were running night after you night were after running night. across yeah. the stage you were skipping across the stage I mean you were really covering the stage and I went wow the front person really earns their money tonight <laughs> on a stage <laughs> like so this fun though God, yeah. it's such a rush to play for that many people and to be opening for an audience that you know is not yours but it's like an audience that really loves music they're out there for the rolling stones and it was just like it was incredible like i just can't even like when i'm talking about it now i'm like did that happen yeah, yeah i'm like did that really happen to me that's weird if you're just joining us we're talking with gwen stefani and next we're going to ask her how she likes all the tabloid attention she's been getting good morning bob and sherry we're talking with Gwen Stefani this morning, singer, songwriter, fashion designer, and star of The Voice. So here's a question for you. Your your music, and I think your work in fashion, too, is so autobiographical, whether it's like the huge uber girl anthem, Just a Girl, or the new song, Used to Love You. It's impossible to imagine that you write a song from anything other than a place of really authentic experience. So 
given that your work is so autobiographical and so public, and now you probably can't even go to 7-Eleven without seeing tabloids with crazy stories, everything from Gwen's having an alien baby on down, how do you manage to keep the you that's you separate from that so that you can do the work? You know what? Um, I, I feel like in my whole, like, career or life, like, I've never been, like, a tabloid type person, you know, I just kind of, I have such a normal life, you know, and I feel like lately it's definitely gone to a different place, but I think that's from being on TV, you know, that just takes it to another, like, place that I've never experienced. I mean, being on The Voice and being on a show that reaches so many people puts you in a whole different, like, position. I remember Adam telling me, he goes, get ready, this is going to be something you haven't ever experienced before, because obviously, like, I've had success and I've been around the world and... I have all that, and but I live a pretty normal life, you know. I think the worst of it is probably just the paparazzi, which for me, honestly, I am so, I want to say, like, you don't get used to it, but I'm sort of used to it to the point where I'm like, I always, like, I almost like go, when they're not there, I'm like, what, where are they? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm just so, like, used to that. And <laughs> But the tabloid thing is weird, and I have to say, like, just, I've been so lucky because I've had to grow up in a time where, You know, it was so much more mysterious, like the people that you loved, you didn't know anything about them, you had no access to them, but now I get to also live in a time where you can have direct, like, relationships with people, like, I can read stuff, what people are thinking, and I can talk to people right away, and I can write a song and put it out in real time, like, when I'm going through the problem, like, so I I love to be able to have that experience of, of living in both times, and it just is a magical time, actually, to be able to connect with people, and you know, I don't think it's, I've ever really been super affected by what people say about me because I, I live in reality, which is the people that I love and the people that are in my life, those are the real people I know. Everybody else is just, it's just who, I don't know who they are. Like, they're not in my life, so. But I think that your karma is really good because Aww. even when the tabloids are splashing you all over the place, it's always in this really positive way. <laughs> It's always like, Gwen looks happy. I mean, Aww. what celebrity gets positive tabloid coverage, right? I have to say, some of it is so funny. Like, even like, but it, what's crazy is that, like, I have family now, so, like, they see stuff, too. So that's kind of hard. That, I think that's the hardest part is trying to protect the kids from all of it. But, again, like, they've had paparazzi from the moment they were born they were, or yeah, before truly. they were born <laughs> in my tummy. So they kind of are used to it, too, and... You know, we just talk about what's real and what's not real. And Well, so before we let you go, real quick, let's talk about The Voice. Tell me your favorite thing about sitting in that chair and watching those people go for their dream. You know what? I think my favorite thing about being in the chair at The Voice is um, just how inspiring it is to be around all that music and, and to have some kind of impact on people. Like, you know, in the past... Like, my whole life before I had children was all about me and, like, creative, being creative. And I've had, like, this extended, like, high school. Like, I literally went in a van and then went on a bus. And, like, it never ended. I'd never, I had, every day was a weekend for me for years, you know. Like, we played shows and that's what we did. And I was just so lucky to have that life. And to be able to, like, be in a position where, you know, it's almost like a mothering position where you're like, wow, let me look back and see what I did and let me see if I can help you. And and then watch whatever you say like have an impact and actually watch these people like grow and get somewhere that is really cool it's a, it feels like it would be a gift you know to have that opportunity to see someone with real talent and real potential and to be able to kind of give them um the kind the advice and the shortcut and the support that that you miss but that you've learned from experience yeah and it's also just such a cool show cuz it's like i don't know i don't remember anything that was so, like, reachable, you know what I mean? Like, we had, like, Star Search or whatever, but that was just, everything was so distant, and that would never happen to you, or you'd never even get on that show. But this show, like, people get on it, and they actually, overnight, get to have, like, followers and and fans, and, and they get to learn so much in a really short period of time. And that's just crazy, because, like, if you look at, like, I look back at how I did it, and we had months and months and months to like rehearse for a show and or like figure out what we're going to wear and like learn a cover and all the stuff they're doing in like two three exactly days. yeah it's and really it's turbo mind-blowing to me and and just also the pressure like even now for me to get up and do live tv and sing is it's so much pressure i mean it's so fun and it's such a rush but 
it never gets like unscary for me and 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 they're doing it all day long like every day and and it's all new for them so there's just it's just super inspiring to be around that energy and I just feel like it just came to me at a time in my life it was just perfect and such a shock like a surprise like I wasn't planning to do anything like that ever in my life and I just feel really blessed I got to have that experience and I wouldn't have probably written this record if it wasn't for that because I think just being around the other coaches and analyzing music and listening to music so many songs and everybody's different interpretations helps me with my writing as well you know well we're gonna keep watching on the voice I'm a huge voice fan I'm psyched for the whole CD to come out the new single is used to love you and Gwen Stefani, if the National Enquirer is right and you do have an alien baby, you know it's <laughs> going to be very stylish, okay? okay so cool. that's, the, that's the upside there. Gwen Stefani, you can see her every week on The Voice. The new song is Used to Love You. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you bet. And good, good luck writing that song later today. I'm going to write one today. All right. Take care. Bye.